Hey guys, I am here at Wildlife Disc Golf Course here in Pekin, Illinois in preparation for the Ledgestone Open. I'm playing three courses, so this is the one of the courses that I will be playing. Uh, and I really hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe. But let's get into the video. So we're here on hole one, it's a 765 foot par four. It's pretty much just straight through this gap and pretty wide open. I'm gonna throw my arrive, hopefully push it out there and land in the fairway. So that should be fine or should be right in the middle of the fairway. Should be fine. So now we're on hole two. It's a 630 foot par four. You want to hit this gap and fade off to the or turn to the right afterwards. I want to throw a backhand because the sidearm I don't think will get there. But after that, hopefully have a 200 foot approach to the basket. So I think that should be fine because it's straight ahead and I'll have a little sidearm approach after that. Go ahead. Get up. Get up. So we're here on hole three at Wildlife Disc Golf Course. It's a 283 foot par three. You basically want to throw it high through this gap and have it just crash in left. Uh, you want to throw it pretty high because you have to get it to swing left. I'm going to throw my FD3 and hopefully have it swing like that. Now we're on hole four. It's a 393 foot par three, uh, straight through this gap, around this stuff and through the gap in the trees over there. It is downhill after that. I wanna keep something out to the right, have it hyzer through that and hopefully down the hill a little bit. Thank you, Dad. That's fine. It's down the hill, and I think that should be fine. Get up. Yeah. So we're on hole five. It's a 654 foot par four. The landing zone plays right there so that you're not in the water. Uh, clearing the entire water is about 400 to 420. Uh, I'm just playing to that landing zone and having a 300 foot up shot after that. Yep. Sit. Yep. Exactly where I want to be. We're now on hole six. It's a 259 foot 
par three, just straight down the hill with water right behind it. Hopefully I can just push my zone straight enough and have a hyzer at the end to give myself a look. Okay, that's fine. I didn't give it the angle I needed. So we're on hole seven. It's a 457 foot par four, straight up this hill and to the right afterwards. I'm gonna just try and play for placement up on the top of the hill and then have a straight shot after that. So we're on the eighth hole. It's a 500 foot par four. Uh, basically you want to hit this tight gap off the tee and go straight and push left a little bit. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a mid range up to around 250 hopefully and then I'll have another 250 approach after that hoping to make sure that I'm not kicking too far off the fairway. Nice pot! So on the last hole of the video is a 496 foot par 4 straight through this gap and a little bit to the right afterwards. Hopefully I can push the sidearm there straight enough and have a look at having an upshot to the basket. So I'm in the middle of the fairway, but it's a little bit shorter than I would have wanted. So this shot actually goes straight back up the hill after. So I'm aiming at to like the bottom to the middle of the hill. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I was uh, somewhere around even par, but I um, really like this course. The elevation is a lot on the body, but uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.